This is your second time on the Olympic team, is that correct? Correct. Yeah, how old were you the first time you played on that team? Uh, wow, so long ago, huh? At 19. The day LeBron James got his revenge on Larry Brown. This in Puerto Rico. It was a moment of pride. I know the shit that I take. I know every kid wants to play. Amari <laughs> got suspended. Wow. So long ago, huh? At 19. 19, 19 years 19. old. I didn't think I, I had earned an opportunity to be on that team. You know, literally, this is the summer right after my rookie year. The NBA put a lot of pressure on in terms of adding some future stars. Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, and LeBron James. Nine guys drop out, so they had to fill those spots. And we got the call, like, do y'all, would y'all want to be a part of this USA team? And I'm like, hell yeah, like, come on, let's do it. It was a disconnect between both groups. It was like, oh, we have these young group of guys that's coming on board. Then, you know, you had the older guys just like, this is our shit, we got to make this work. And then you just had Larry Brown. You know, Larry Brown wanted to coach the team like it was uh, um, like it was the 76ers, but it was the dream We've team. We've played a certain way for the last five or six years. All right, we got we to gotta change right now. It, it was, was like, like Larry that? Brown had it like, oh. oh. We weren't like that. Like, you can't leave the boat. Yeah, leaving yeah. the boat was like, you get suspended a game. <clears throat> Oh. Like, like it, it was, was like, like Larry Brown had it. Like, is is it is it a matter of coaching? Is it a matter of collective mentality from I somewhere it's, else? It's, or? it's, a, it's, a, it's an ingredient of, of everything. Mm -hmm. Coaching and a maturity. Right. Um, you know, players maturing. Late breaking news here: LeBron James was suspended for this game by Larry Brown. Why will you occasionally stop the game film you're watching to, or pause it to inspect the body language of your players that are sitting on the bench? I know every kid wants to play, um, and if you're sitting on the bench, I know it's a natural feeling that you're hoping that maybe somebody will call your name so you can get in, and subconsciously maybe it's like an I. Maybe one of the starters is not playing as well as he's capable of playing and coach will give me an opportunity, but the way you acted on the bench, to me, sent a message to what your program's about. We were just told that those three players, Amari, LeBron, and Allen Iverson, will not play. They are not out on the court. They're on the bench right now in practice uniforms. They were late to an 11 o'clock meeting, a very disappointing situation. I just remember, like, AI gets suspended. Amari, Amari, Amari got suspended for coming to the meeting. Like, the meeting started early. Say the meeting was 7 o'clock, the meeting started at 6.58. You know what I'm saying? So they were, they, were, they were considered late. They didn't play in the game. The Olympic, the infamous. I want to just hear from y'all. You know what I'm saying? We like, lost. We didn't. From somebody else, but you hear from me. Talk about that experience a little bit, please. What was uh, that like? Uh, I need, oh, let me get a sip. Hold up. <laughs> I have a different experience than Sue, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to us, please. The younger guys, we were pissed at Larry Brown because he didn't play us. Carmelo, what happened out there, you think? I don't know. I wasn't out there. I don't think they scored more points than us. That's all I can say. We just thought, man, we should be playing because we can help this team win. But Larry Brown, didn't, he didn't think that we you know, could as much as the veteran guys. They can still win, though. They can still win. That's what I was it's looking for It's a round-robin right event. Yeah. They can still, they can still actually, it's gold. conceivable they could win the gold. Right. We're ready to kick the roll. You go screen. This has become a world sport. We better respect the people we play or we're going to be in trouble. You know, I don't think the first team understood that in 2004. What, why, why wouldn't they understand that? Uh, I don't know. And that's why we, <laughs> that's why we came yeah. home what we came home with. If I do a combo memory, what I remember is, like, you had Mello, LeBron, D. Wade were kind of like the young bucks. Like you guys played a little bit too, but not probably as much as, as you deserved. It was 
our first Olympics, our first USA basketball like senior mm -hmm. situation. And what was really similar was none of us were playing. <laughs> <laughs> like, so that, that was real similar. So it actually <laughs> shaped the experience a little bit. Yeah. I didn't, I couldn't understand it. It's just at that time, it's like, how? Especially like, what are you thinking when like, y'all lose to Puerto Rico? I was bittersweet. Yeah. Like, damn, like, damn, we lost yeah, to Puerto, Puerto Rico, Rico first up. game. That's when he, Carlos does the... The Royal draws a foul and one! We didn't take Puerto Rico with the respect they deserved, that's for sure, and they uh, they kicked their ass. It's finally happened. The United States loses in Olympic play with NBA players. How many times uh, have you signed that photo? Man. Where you like this, <laughs> or bitch? You know, when I, when I did it, the, the camera catches me, like, in the last moment, because I went all around, like, yeah. you know, it, it was a moment of pride. You know, you all you hear, ring it. You hear all that. Oh, oh, oh. Like, you know, so you hear it. All of that. So we in there, I'm like, man, <laughs> Carla, yo, we ain't. Carlos. Carla, of course. Yeah, Carlos, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Carlos, man. <laughs> hey, Carlos Arroyo. <laughs> it was beautiful. You know, it was crazy. It was the first game uh, for us at the Olympics. Yeah. Beating the U.S. in the Olympics and being one of the first ones to do it. You know, it's a picture that lives forever, you know? Yeah. And, um, I'm in the social study books for kids in Puerto Rico. And it's like. With his jersey? So I'm, I'm on we this side, like game. looking at the USA people, and it's, man, it's, man, they gonna kill us. The world is no longer mesmerized, and US professionals are no longer undefeated. A startling upset by tiny Puerto Rico, and a group of Olympic rookies left to wonder how and if. So the starting five on that team was Steph, AI, Sean Marion, I think. Tim Duncan. We you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Period. Honestly, like, looking back at it now, it's like, I wouldn't change that experience for nothing, right? Because to, to, to this day, I wouldn't probably be the same person. And the disappointment in the United States. No gold medal for the United States men. And then he saw this happening. You might be starting to say there's a new era in Olympic basketball, and it's one in which the United States is no longer dominant. So Marion and Richard Jefferson, obviously small forwards. We did a fucking piss poor job. They field the youngest roster that they ever have of a bunch of players with zero international experience or n very little international experience. LeBron, D. Wade, Amari, Carmelo, all these guys. All of these guys were then added onto the team. And I went from a guy that didn't play to a starter in the Olympics. I didn't play the year before. From my experience and what I saw, we were the team that helped change it for the future. For the bronze. I'm sitting up on the podium, you know, receiving the bronze. Like, you know, this shit was a waste of my time. At that moment, I, I definitely wasn't playing for Team USA again. Carmelo and LeBron made a pact. Every time you face Sean Marion and Richard Jefferson, because they started over them on the Olympic team, what was the combos, Melo? It was just more like when we made that pact, right? It was just like, yo, they like what? We not they playing in front of us? I hope they understand the difference between coaching and criticism. I, I, that's really a key, and they had to make sacrifices. I asked Richard Jefferson about it. He was like, and I had nothing to do with nothing it. Nothing to do with it. It was Larry <laughs> Brown's choice. It wasn't mine. I didn't do anything. LeBron ranked ninth on the team in minutes played, and Larry Brown only played LeBron James for three minutes in the semifinal versus Argentina. For Argentina. Where are the United States going to go to get a hoop here? Marbury looked like he was going to shoot a quick three. He finds LeBron James. And James team USA three. ultimately settled for the bronze medal. The next time LeBron James faced Larry Brown and the Detroit Pistons, this happened. Last year, the 18-year-old took the NBA by storm. Brown on the steal, look at him fly to the rim. We up in the rafters and bring it down hard. Now at 19, LeBron's better. LeBron James! LeBron loves levitation! And welcome back to the Gund Arena, the Pistons and the Cavaliers tonight on NBA Wednesday. Ilgowskis outlets to McGinnis. Now Cleveland in transition. This is James. 
Jeff McInnes, LeBron James's teammate, recalled, LeBron didn't say anything to us, but I think he wanted to stick it to Larry Brown. PAs, back to you guys. It's the Cavaliers! I think in the back of his mind, that's what he wanted to do, said Jeff McInnes after the game. Oh my! Oh my! LeBron James off the glass with a sidewinder by Jop, and it's LeBron James for the quarter. Oh my. Oh my. LeBron James. Isolate LeBron James. Against Darvin Ham. Oh my. Oh, that, that was some shot as he pulled it back. With each minute of this game, LeBron James is coming up with something new. Got the ball off the glass. Now they're walking up. Wow. Oh, I think they're firing out there. <laughs> LeBron James attacks. I am demanding. I do get on kids. And I'd get on some of them. And, uh, Every once in a while, they get so angry at me that they learn to love each other yeah. and bond. <laughs> there you go. Um, I, uh, and I don't do that by design. LeBron James with a wraparound move. And the basket. Beats Hamilton and hangs the shot up and in. By the time I got to him in Cleveland, man, Scott Williams, who played with Michael Jordan, was like, I asked him, I said, yo, is he better than Michael Jordan? Uh, right, like right now at this age, or like, I mean, like a 23-year-old Michael Jordan, like a 24-year-old Michael Jordan? He's like, yes. I said, how about like a 25, 26 Michael Jordan? He's like, yes. I was like, how about like a 28, 29? <laughs> and he's like, you know what? He still got some more time for that. <laughs> but like, you know, I was like, okay, he's a Michael Jordan. And me, and me being his teammate and being able to get the information from Scott Williams, who won two championships with Mike, you could kind of start seeing like, yo, he is different. But we had, we were just fortunate enough to see it every day where we got used to it. The outside world wasn't used to it. LeBron again, hello. He said, okay, I got that too. And this one is coming to an end as Trailer takes down the Rio. Maybe seeking to prove he deserved more playing time during the Olympics in Greece, LeBron James dropped a then career high 43 points, leading the Cleveland Cavaliers to a commanding 92 76 victory over Larry Brown's Detroit Pistons. After the final buzzer, LeBron made a beeline for Brown, shaking his hand before anyone else. Was he trying to make a statement? And LeBron James with a career-high 43. Whenever Detroit challenged, it was LeBron James whom the Cavs called upon and LeBron James who delivered. LeBron, career-high 43, 15 to 22 from the field. Uh, you slipping or what? What's up? Oh, man, I just had to uh, come out here, play great, and try to help our team win, and I was able to do that tonight.